Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of My Journey to High Rocks. My name is Michael Montgomery, and if you are new to my channel, then welcome, I appreciate you for showing up. If you are new to my channel, then please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you can follow me on this journey as I prepare for High Rocks Chicago on November 5th. Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud. So week seven was all about injury. The injury bug struck. Um, coming out of week 10, the last day of week 10, I actually did a high rocks time trial and something happened when I woke up the next day, Monday morning, uh, I got out of bed and shit, my leg, my, my left groin was actually really messed up. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, my neck, my back, my neck and my back. So I'm not exactly sure what I did or what exercise I messed it up on. I only got through four exercises. Um, so my guess is it had to be the sled push because the sled push seems pretty taxing on the groin. So that's my guess or either the running part. But I usually don't pull up injury injured from running. Uh, and so I'm not exactly sure what I got injured on. But I just know I woke up the next day and my body was like, hell no, I'm not doing this. Not today. They said I need a bacchiotomy. Uh, one of the things I preached in a previous week was, number one, not going so hard on the same exercise that touches the same muscle group to create what you call overuse injuries. Uh, the second thing is making sure that my body was, I was listening to my body properly. Uh, if it told me I needed to take a break, I needed to take a break. Uh, High Rocks is different from other events in that you hammer it constantly uh, just with the level of work that you have to get done. So you're constantly hammering your body. So it's critically important that you make sure that you always listen to your body and you respond accordingly. If your body tells you you need a break, take a break. So when I got injured, one of the first things I thought about was making sure that I kept my competitive state. I think the biggest mistake that a lot of athletes make over time is that uh, once they get injured, they kind of disconnect completely from the sport while the injury is healing. That's one of the things I didn't want to do. I wanted to completely and totally stay engaged uh, and to keep my body accustomed and to keep my mind accustomed to the regimen of being an athlete. Uh, especially with me being an older athlete and a half a step away from being a couch potato, I knew I could very quickly uh, fall out, uh, fall out of shape, or fall off the wagon, the fitness wagon. Folks, oh my goodness! Uh, if I went uh, too many days without training, so again, that's one of the big things about just when you get injured, it doesn't have to derail your training cycle. Uh, it doesn't have to derail what you're trying to accomplish as far as a performance or anything the only thing you have to do is just modify what you're doing even though i was injured i did still manage to get six days of training in uh, my six days consisted of three uh, cardio days or endurance days one strength endurance day and two interval days uh, they were pretty solid days. I did have to alter some of the work I was doing uh, to compensate for the fact that I was injured. So one of the things I had to do differently uh, instead of running because running directly hits or potentially can directly hit the groin, uh, I switched up to jump rope and I use CrossFit ropes. Um, I'll put a link uh, so I can use different weights. So if I needed to put more stress on my body uh, and to kind of simulate the different phases of the high rocks challenge I actually use different weights um, another thing I did as far as strength and endurance I did really no lower body strength work so squats and deadlifts were pretty much out uh, one of the things I focused on more was um, just all upper body stuff uh, and stuff that really uh, I was sitting mostly and that when you get injured it doesn't have to derail your training or your focus it doesn't even have to uh, derail or prevent you from doing an event caveat depending on the injury some injuries you you can't get past but an injury like a groin pull as long as it's minor uh, you can pretty much alternate your work and alternate your training in order to come in order to accommodate for it sorry about the background again we got kids here uh one of them is about to get
Yeah, so if you guys see me catch a case, that's why. We've got some witnesses here that could maybe give us some answers, so we're going to see right now. Hello, sir. Did you witness anything strange in the area? What? Witness? Yes. Is this camera on? Yeah, we're live. Oh, oh, no, nah, I ain't see nothing. All right, because I got kids here, and you notice as an adult, whenever you're somewhere doing something alone, they tend to just migrate to that area of the body. That's it for week 11. Um, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and I see you guys on week 12. Thank you.